Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and I'd like to welcome you all back to another Throwback Friday. Now this one is a Throwback Friday and number 38. Now if you are new to this channel the Throwback series are videos that I've compiled using some of the old stuff that I put out last year. This is a cheeky way for you to and get to see a little bit more of the channel without having to venture too far but if you do like some of these videos and you fancy it there are playlists out there that start mega playlist one and work their way up so that if you really fancy binge watching you can <laughs> right and also at the end of this video and there will be um boxes a pop-up that will take you to the uh, Ravelry shop where you can grab the patterns in written form or there will be a, a link to the pattern playlist as well as some other ones that I'll throw up depending on, on what this video has included in it <laughs> right so the video that I have chosen for you guys today is whips and bits and chat number 37 so let's go and have a nose and let's see what I was going on about this time last year Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to the asylum to whips and bits number 37 right let's get on with today's episode right so on to today's episode we are doing a catch up a video catch up your photos some breaking news and um anything else i can think of to throw in to try and make it more than five minutes long <laughs> right let's get on with the video catch-ups right so the first video out this week was my christmas gifts to you 12a now in 12a i actually managed to show you how to turn your gingerbread um gift card holder into a uh, two different style of snowmen and a santa and then I was extra evil at the end. I showed you that by using exactly the same pattern, but getting rid of two lines and changing two lines of the pattern, you would end up with your very own little snowman and your very own Santa Claus Arigurumi. Now I did that because yes, I'm evil, but I also did it because I know quite a few of you I love making little miniature things but are scared to add stuff in and call it an arigurumi and so I thought well if I show you them as the gift card first you're more likely to make them and then and then of course by adding the stuff in it shows you that you are perfectly and utterly capable of making an arigurumi if you've made them then you've learned surface crocheting with um I don't know the technical term but surface crocheting and then working off the surface crocheting and you've learned how to chain off as a uh, run a chain off and work through a chain on an arigurumi now i've only just picked up this technique what about a month or so ago for the sticks so as you can see with arigurumi you can have a lot of fun with it and you can chop and change bits around and come out with some really cute items and then the next video out, video out was Christmas 2020 Happy Mail and W and B36. Now that meant whips, bits and chat. I just couldn't be bothered to type out the whole, whole section. It was a midweek chat um, just solely because, hey, it was for Christmas. And I really hope you guys all had a nice Christmas, even if you did have to change it up a little bit this year right so i have cut out the breaking news which was uh for australia and it was for spotty because it's really out of date and i don't want to confuse any of you the best bit my bet the bit i absolutely love is your photos and now i know everyone has been manic this this last couple of weeks finishing up the patterns that you've been working on all year because you've got 15 different whips going for 15 different people you finally get them all done you sit down and then what happens this evil cow puts up another video <laughs> but some of you actually had the opportunity at the time and the materials to have a go 
at these guys on the tree so without further ado and uh, let's get on with your photos so first one up is the Aragurumi ninja that is our Corinne and um, she has made an absolutely brilliant um, gingerbread person and she then followed it up with a Santa but she was a bit naughty she forgot to watch the whole video love you honey <laughs> Right, so here are her pictures of her two uh, gift card holders. And Corinne, even um, even though you did watch a whole of the video, you went off and done your own thing. <laughs> as the pair of us do your guys look so so cute now the question is corinne do you still have the gift card holders or did you gift them out with a gift card in them mm. and in between those two video uh, photographs that i got from uh, our corinne i also received another one from carol ray and she again has had a go at the gingerbread man I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to see the type of buttons you used, whether you used the gumdrop buttons that I had in the pattern or whether you've added something else. They're looking like a gumdrop button, just sneakily, I can just sneakily see it under his arms. But you've done an absolutely beautiful job with it, darling. Super proud of you. So Carol, did you end up making any more of them? That's the question. If you did, did you get a photo? Do us a favour babes, if you got a photo, send it over and then I can show everybody uh, later on this week. Um, what other ones are you created? Right, I have also been hunting around for other countries as well, but I tried to go on to a couple of sites for America and I've been blocked. My, um, my web address for my home web address won't let me on because I'm out of the country so I'm not sure why that is at the moment um, but then I haven't really tried it previously I normally sort of see if I can find stuff and information through other sources rather than going direct to the source whereas this time I tried to go direct and it didn't want to play so I'm sorry Austra um, America I haven't managed to find you anything but keep your ears to the ground and give me a shout if you do find anything and then I can shout it out to everybody else and the same for any other person in any other country if you find a deal that you want to share pop over to my Facebook page the information and the link to that is in the description box below if you pop over there join the group stick it up on the page i will shout it out along with your name if you want me to i don't have to shout your name out i'll just tell or i can just tell everybody i've heard this and i've been told this by a secret squirrel or a secret crazy or some crazy wrote it on the wall for me whatever i will find a way of saying it without your name if you don't want your names said but bleh, i am I'm really garbling on today aren't i <laughs> a bit of verbal vomit going on <laughs> right on to the next thing now when I very first started my channel I saw I can't remember who it was but I saw somebody who was collecting all of the labels that they'd used on each project throughout the year and they've put them to one side to count up how many um, miles or yards or whatever they've managed to crochet throughout the year and I thought, oh wow, that's a really good idea because at this point my husband's saying to me, why are you buying this yarn you don't use a lot? You, I don't, like, I don't think he realised how many projects I'd done to that point, let alone how many I've done this year. Um, but he was like, really, you probably only use a couple of balls here and there. And so I thought, do you know what, I am going to collect my tags. Now... I will be honest and not all of them are here because if I don't use the full bolt of wool or yarn or cake or whatever it is it gets re-caked up and the label goes back on it so I know exactly what the yarn is because my memory is shot all right so anything under five grams 
and gets its label put back on and it will get used at some point and the label will be added into the box for next year but this year I've got this many so I've got to do a little bit of math sorry these are actually super duper squidged in that is watch number one Oh, they're falling out all over the shop. Yep, <laughs> they're flying everywhere. There is some of them. So as I said, not all of them are in this small pile of yarn labels. But I'm going to head off in a second and I'm going to work out how many yards, metres, miles. Um, I've actually managed to use up in its entirety and I'll be back in a second with um, the math oh gosh math I need to go through them again as well because what I've also done on the labels is I've written on some of them what the project was that I've made and whether I liked or disliked the yarn and that came out of that ball so that if I ever get asked what I thought of say the Audi cakes I could turn around and say they're rough as out they hurt your hands and don't bloody bother it's a waste of cash but oh, shouldn't say that should I <laughs> that is down to the uh, yarn uh, the wool consistency in it as well um, and so as you can imagine I've got lots of notes written on lots of labels oh cracky I've thrown off across the table and in there I think there's probably only about 75% of what has been used because every time I cleared up my husband would throw the what like the pile away unless I hid them from him because he was like what are you doing <laughs> he just didn't get it bless him Whew, right that's all the ones that I can write down written down Still got those, they're like the ones off of magazines and things that, and they don't put a yarn weight or um, any information on the labelling. So I've got about another 10 of these, but I only use those to make those little heart shaped key rings. And they went quite far actually. Right, now time to do the adding up. Help! Whoa, the maths has done the numbers along. Right, so I'm going to put them down the bottom. Now, this isn't for all the labels. As I'm going through them, I'm thinking, where are all the, um, all the love? Um, because, of course, my larger blankets have been done with the Papaya Love um, DK yarn, and I've only got two labels, and there is no way <laughs> that I only used 200 grams on those blankets let alone the unicorn pillow and everything else so yes there are loads missing you never know I might find another pack of another box with more in but they're gonna get binned now and I'm gonna attempt to do it next year but be a bit more careful about where the yarn bands end up and hopefully less will end up in the bin and more will end up in the box I'm gonna hide behind the computer and just chuck them over once they're done I'm doing the uh, label store thing again where I'm holding it all to putting them all in a box and I'm going to add it up for the end of the year again so that we can see how far I've crocheted um I worked it out for the poppies whoa that's a mega one once it's finished but I will tell you about that in a separate video of course right so now on to the completed oh my completed whips for this week it's a bit strange because of course I had midway through whips and bits so I may end up doubling up on some of the items but it has literally been the week so for this week of course there was the Santa the little Aragurumi guy here and there was oh let's try and stand up will you <laughs> there was also the snowman the frog
and I also did a five of the toilet roll um, 2020 toilet roll Christmas decorations and I've sent them out to family and friends um, I'm about to show you a picture of what they look like on my tree without the lights and also how I wrap them up Now, I was in a very sarcastic mood, so of course, I wrap my little toilet roll guys up in tissue paper, <laughs> then put them, stuffed them into an empty toilet roll tube, <laughs> and then created Christmas crackers. Really, really simple. You wrap the paper around, you get some ribbon, and you just squidge it on each end. And to stop it folding in on itself, I put another toilet roll tube between the two areas that I'm going to fold. Um, if you want to know how to do it, um, stick a message down below and I will show you in a video at a later point on how to do a crazy Christmas cracker. Um, yeah, and then of course there was the videos and everything that went along with this, these guys. Uh, so then I, <clears throat> as you know, I sent them out to the family and friends and I got this photo back from, well, it came via my brother because he's staying at my mum's at the moment um, but it's my the top of my mum's Christmas tree now every year this poor fairy gets stuck on top of the Christmas tree normally there's lights up her skirt and normally she ends up halfway through Christmas celebrations flying across the room in some way or another she seems to escape but this year she seems to be pretty happy because she seems to think she's got a new present Um, now I've also had a bit of a go at my jumper but I need to just go and grab that right so here is the jumper as it was I didn't manage to get it finished for Christmas Day for me well not our first Christmas Day I might be able to get it out for our second or our third hopefully it'll be finished before it turns summer um right so what I've managed to do is let's get it around the right way I have done the majority of the work now on the front and the backs okay so I've managed the shoulders I attempted to do the sleeves as well but so I was working on the sleeve but I just couldn't get my head around the pattern changes for my size basically I've written it down now in Angie speak so hopefully Angie will understand it when she would when I return back to the pattern to have a go at it later on hopefully later on today but I did sort of lose my crow jar on it so I did put it down to one side now I have completed since you last saw it my stitch marker is in the back and it is in this white section here so I basically doubled the size of what you'd seen it last time I showed it to you right I have also dug, because I lost my grey joke on that, and I was like, no, I don't want to do it, I want to do something else, which I don't normally do, I like to finish a project before I start a new one, I sat there and I thought, right, right I've got this absolutely stunning yarn here that was sent to me for Christmas um, from our Aragurumi Ninja, and... I love it absolutely love it so I was like right I'm gonna have a go at this I'm gonna knock up a hat or a scarf something simple because I've only got the two balls so I'm gonna try and get two items out of it and of course with a scarf you can carry on going normally until you run out and you're all right so I started by the crystal at bag of days patterns you can see the stitch work in it because it's um, the yarn itself is quite nice but it's crazy and it's dark and it's a pain to work with but I love it still so I'm still going so that got straight back and then I tried a scarf again I wasn't keen on it so that got straight back then I tried a texture textured scarf and again I couldn't see the texture so I didn't like it so I stripped it back so now I'm actually trying to create a pattern myself 
it's not doing too bad it's getting there but it is literally going to be just a scarf but i'm only that much into it and i'm not going to show you any more than that <laughs> until um till it gets really really long and i can explain to you uh, what stitches and what order i'm doing them in and all the rest of it so that will be hopefully my very first um scarf pattern it will come out to you at some point i'm not going to say when i'm not going to put a time frame on it i solely because as soon as i do that i get stressed about getting it out to you and that's when things go wrong <laughs> and it never happens <laughs> right so um a couple of bits that we got for christmas this year from friends and family it's literally just two items because i really want to show them to you now the first one is a, a christmas card a very strange christmas card my next door neighbor owns her own chocolate company oh my god that is every girl's dream isn't it own your own chocolate company now she doesn't just do chocolate she'll do cakes and she does sculptures as well out of cheese and chocolate and anything else and gingerbread giant gingerbread houses she's done um cars and things actual shape of cars made out of cake the right size all dimensions everything her stuff is absolutely amazing what i'm going to do is i'll pop a link to her website um across the screen here and then down below and if i can find any other information about her company and things i i will pop it onto the video now this was my christmas card this year this is a picture of her puppy now this puppy and her uh, this puppy and liam do have a bit of a disagreement they're not keen on each other they like to shout at each other over the fence and because of covid we've not been able to actually get them close enough for them to play and work out any issues they've got but here's years this is a um my christmas card now this christmas card isn't a paper christmas card it is a chocolate chocolate christmas card so i've had this sitting in the fridge so that none of us have taken a bite out of it because it's a nice chunky lump of chocolate absolutely think it's brilliant i've had to take the front cover off it so that um it doesn't reflect but how cute is that i'll pop a picture up as well Now she also does some really um, interesting Easter eggs. I best not say too much about it, but if you type into her, um, if you type Easter eggs into the search engine on her website, you'll see what I mean. It's basically character caricatures. Oh, I can't even say it. Basically, it's heads of people that you can smack on the head with a hammer or a little mallet, like to break the chocolate so you can eat it. I think they're brilliant and the next one up is a cousin david now cousin david um owns and runs a moomin merchandise in the uk um he's been absolutely brilliant he's been working with lily to design a set of coasters for our christmas table this year now of course as you know my daughter absolutely adores drawing and she's used to doing a lot more shading and a lot more arty stuff she's the one that made that red and white mask behind I'm using my yarn so it stays in my yarn shop <laughs> in my yarn room right so he he asked her just for line drawings this year so she's managed to do a four different line drawings and he has had them he has etched them um onto slate for us for our coasters for this year now i think these are so so cute but then i would because it's my daughter's drawings isn't it but this is coaster number one and it's got the little feet on the back as well oh, i can't move this slide any further over there we go right so yeah it's got the little feet so the coasters won't scratch your table so that is picture number one picture number two these are basically characters uh char lily's impression of pip and of liam so 
that one's Pip. Here's Liam. And again, here is another one of the two of them. So, like, of Liam. And so that's um, Moomin, Moomin merchandise. And I will add a link down here, a link up there, and a link wherever else I can. He does some absolutely stunning items. He does quite a lot of um, band merchandise. So if you're an up come, if you've got family members or friends that are in a band and they're up and coming, it'd be really really cool if you could help out this local um, company. And they're really really small. It's just it's one guy at the moment, and he does a lot for charity. He does um, a lot for local bands. And as you can see, he's also done that for my daughter. So the stuff he's got on there, the band merch is absolutely gorgeous. He engraves onto um, hip flasks and lighters. If he's able to engrave on it and you want it, he'll engrave it for you. So here's his information. Right, so now it is time to um, draw the winner of a competition that I was running over on my Facebook group or page. Um, the link to the Facebook is down below if you want to join in and possibly join in, in other, on other competitions in the future. Okay, so because it's such a small group over there, there is only 11 entries. And so what I've done is I have uh, got my little tablet out again. I've got my little tablet I've set up my spinning wheel as you can see here all right and each of those has got the person's first name and an initial at the end just in case there are two people with the same name but luckily there isn't and whoever's name is picked out is the one that not only wins a, a pattern of their choice um or possibly a new pattern that I'm gonna have to make up of their choice <laughs> um, but they've also chosen the next pattern that will be released on the channel next year um, which is one of the corner to corners that I've been working on um, so I might have been a bit blah and a bit crazy in explaining that one but basically I asked them what they would like pattern they would like to see next year and they gave me their ideas and then I've either said got one or oh gotta make one but let's um, go down to the camera um, and then we'll spin it and we will find out who has won. My name's put in here. I've only used your first and the letter of your surname just in case it's different to what it would be on Facebook to what it is on YouTube. Right, so uh, let's get spinning. Now, each of you have got your name on the wheel twice, so good luck, everybody. Right, so Deanne, let's see what your one is. Right, congratulations, Deanne. Now, I've, scoused, I've pulled up my page and Deanne would like me to do a mousse. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a bit of a picture search on mooses because they're not really that common in the UK. I've got some ideas. Um, I'm just going to have a read through our messages that we um, typed back to each other just so I can work it out. Right, so it would be quite a cute one because it's going to be for a three month old possibly something that he can grow into so not too cute but cute enough right so i best get my thinking hat on my researching hat and see what i can come up with it might even be a case of a tap on the kid and briber with i don't know more christmas chocolate and treats <laughs> yay i've made it over to 30 minutes without having to repeat anything this time around right i am gonna head off now and um get creative on that pattern i wonder what i'm going to come out with hmm. and i hope you all have an absolutely lovely 
um, day and I will see you all really really soon so big hugs everybody and if you can stay in definitely stay safe and ta for now oh that jumper <laughs> um, yeah I finished that about two months ago <laughs> finally had it done and I have shown it to you in a whips and bits but don't ask me which one because I really can't remember all oh, the scarf pattern yeah that got stripped back as well but in a later uh, whips bits and chat I do actually show you uh, what I finally got round to making with it and it might surprise you a little bit oh that Christmas card I did end up eating it I hid it, hid it from the family and they knew nothing about it <laughs> until it was gone and then uh, my husband went you had that card in the fridge what was it I said oh I must have put it in by mistake it was just a Christmas card it's been uh, tidied away into the bin now <laughs> bin meaning my mouth <laughs> mm -mm. but of course the lass is still making them and she'll be making them this year so if you grab that link off of the video from a little bit earlier on um, I will also put it in the drop down box and down below you can go and have a nose and see what else she is creating for this year so that maybe you can grab yourself something super nice and super sweet for Christmas right so yet again this video has got away with me <laughs> I've had to knock off the second choice video but don't worry that'll be here next week so I'm gonna head off now and I will see you all really really soon so if you can please stay in definitely stay safe and ta for now everybody